Massively experienced. It's going to be interesting to see how Hidalka deals with Momoka's experience. Hidalka does have the power. She has very, very heavy punches. She's very physically strong. But the experience is different. And Momoka too, she, in 33, this is a 33rd fight, but only has one KO. So all her victories are more, except one uh, by decision. So I'm sure she's got the stamina. What I've seen, she circles very well, circles and punches Round a bunch of combinations. One. Round one underway, this is the Rise World Series final round. Coming at you live from Makuhari Mese in Japan. You're listening to Stuart Fulton and Alex Roberts. Establishing distance control early, very early on here. Nice movement after the punches by Momoka. She punched and then moved to the side immediately. Very smart. You can see her circling already, looking for the angles and trying to confuse her opponent. Far Hiraoka just standing on the edge of the kickboxing range. Not looking to close that gap with her hands yet. Hiroka does have a very nice, we just witnessed, very nice uh, left middle kick. Very quick. I'm sure she'll try and use that to keep Momoka's punches at bay. Even if she doesn't land it, even if she land on the arm, that's enough to stop, you know, stop your opponent's punches from coming. Now up into the corner now. For the boxing range and possibly landing a knee. A huge difference in height. Momoka, the shorter of the two. Momoka's landing a nice jab and then also after coming off that with a right low kick. But so far, Hidoka is not bothering the block. Hidoka popped in a nice one two there. She took a slip hey. on the canvas, but back on her feet. That's That's feet. feet. One minute left in the first round. Catches the foot and looks to land her fist on the face of Koto Hidoka. Referee almost took him. Left hook to the face there. Kiroga <laughs> seems to be uh, not firing combinations, punches or kicks, not putting it together. I think if she put it together, it'd be, uh, she'd see much greater results. We could see a change when she comes out in the second round. Definitely. Last, last 10 seconds of this first round. <laughs> Monk is landing some punches, but not, not with enough sting to prevent Hiroka from putting on the pressure. Yeah, Hiroka seemed to be quite happy with the distance closed there and, and opening up with some boxing. Momo is going to land something, get a bit of respect, and then uh, change things and go her way, her pace. But with a 33 fight, because it's a 33 fight her career, not much power. This is what I'm sure the way she fights most of the time, circling and punching, circling and punching, piling up points. That first round was very close, very uh, hard to call. What do you think, Stuart? Certainly, yeah, very hard to call from that first round. I do anticipate a change of pace and maybe tactics coming out in the second round here now. Round two! Round two underway, they touch clubs. Oh, nice body punch, Alan Monica. Just 
still throwing those single punches and kicks, like you said, Alex, in that first round. There we go. There we go, yeah. Took the words out of my mouth. As soon as I said that, she mixed it up and landed. And tried with her with her very dangerous back kick. Didn't land there, but definitely a big weapon. Yeah, it's really from this point that we could see Koto Hiralka opening up with those spinning back kicks of hers. Momok again with a straight right to the body, but this time coming up, upstairs with the left hook after it. Momok now moved back out to kicking range and switching between just staying on the edge of those kicks to getting in and out. Yeah, Momok is very good so far this round, in and out, reading the distance more, better than the first round. Hidalka going low and high now. She's eating some punches when she comes in there. Momoka still circling very well. Just over halfway through the second round, halfway through the boat itself. Last one minute in this second round here. Momoka throwing very fast when she gets in that pocket. She throws a nice little rush before she gets out again. It's definitely like a one strike against uh, quick combinations. And this is a tough fight to judge because some judges prefer the big strikes, and but some prefer the uh, high volume. I wouldn't want to be judging this one myself. Very close to tough to call. Fifty seconds left in round two. Into the body, going to the head now. Oh, nice shot from Momoka, that counter right hand. I didn't, didn't have any effect. At least no visible effect. Again, the right hand. That's ten seconds. For a jumping knee, Hiralka. I need a nice right you. cross there just before the bell. I would definitely give that round to Momoka. With her movement and quick punches, I think she took it and she caught, caught Hero with some uh, clean punches on the win. Didn't have much of an effect, but I think it's uh, scoring points. It was uh, somewhat unclear what Hiroka, what her intention was, what she wanted to do. But so far, still a very, very close fight. I think whoever, if anyone can win this third round, clearly, I think they'll probably take the fight. That's right, Alex. It's probably going to boil down to who can really press the action in this third round and impress the judges. Definitely. Round three. Ideally. Third and final round underway. Hiroka, I think she's seen something with that right, uh, right low kick. But once again, taking the punches coming in. Yeah, they're going at it in the pocket here in the start of the final round. Hiroka with the blue tape on her gloves. Yeah, that right low kick, she's making some change with that. Keeps going back to it. Hey, hey, hey. with the red tape around her gloves and a fair bit more experience in the ring than her opponent, Koko Hiroka, here tonight. Momoka very smooth and very relaxed in there, circling uh, very impressively. Momoka's corner calling to her to go to the body and go to the head and don't back up. Hiroka landing some punches now. Big back spinning there, but you know, didn't hit anything, but keeps the opponent uh, 
on edge. To the middle, looking for the long jab. Trying to chase her down. Hiroka standing on her ground. Fight has changed, uh, actually. Uh, Momoka is bringing the pressure now. Hiroka is the one backing up. Yeah. Is she possibly tied Hiroka? And Momoka is landing, too. You can see Hiroka suddenly grit her teeth. Is she lost stamina or feeling the pressure? Yeah, Momoka is certainly laying on the pressure very thick here with one minute left on the clock in the third and final round. Oh, nice left little middle kick there by Hiroka. She has slight effect on Momoka, and she's seen it going back down to the body. Mixing it up nicely now, Hiroka going to the body, going to the head. Trying not to back up too much. Once she's getting pressed into the corner. Once again, she's taking punches on the way in. Up to seconds left, gritting their teeth and going at it hard here. Big right hand from Hiroka. This is when they got to put it all on the line. Make that impression with the judges. Last 10, you've got to leave it all out there. Pressing forward, Momoka, and there's the bell. It goes to the judges' scorecards to tell us what happens next. The possible extra round. I wouldn't doubt it. This. I thought myself Momoka had a slight edge with her moving on quick punches, but Hidoka did come on in that final round and seemed to damage Momoka slightly to the body with her left kick and then the left hook downstairs. So there's a great possibility of an extra round here. Two very different styles there. Momoka, like you said very early on, she was circling and using her footwork really well. Hiraoka, quite content to just press in and move back out, but as you said, she was getting clipped with the punches on her way in, even though she wasn't doing damage when she was in there. One to Hiraoka. A draw. A draw. Majority draw. We have an extra round here. Who has more left in the tank? Back to their corners. In the corner there of Hiraoka is Hiroya himself. How much do they have left? That third round, they, they put it on the line. Second Came out firing, they Second kept firing until the bell. How could? How much do they recover in the minute, two minutes in the, while waiting for the decision? That's right, Alex, it often boils down to not just experience, but training. Also, the mental side, too. You've got to be ready for that extra round. Yeah. Yep. You know, oh, the fight's over, that's it. No, you have to be ready. That's right. Very hard training is not quite the same as being in there under the lights in a full long fight. Looking for the big right hand there, Hiralka. In the knee. Jabbing in very strong with a sticking left hand. The focus on their faces, the concentration. At the end of three rounds, it was judged a draw. It all boils down to what happens in these next two minutes. Looking for the flying knee there, Hiroka. Momoka still sticking to her game plan very well, punching and circling. That's the veteran, veteran Wiles right there. She's, not, she's, got a, she's got a fight style and she's sticking to it. Yeah, that right hand she pops in just before she angles off. 
is excellent. It means that her head is not in the same place as when she threw the punch. She caught her again there. Yep. No visible effect, but it's all points for the judges. And I believe this is a must system. No draw, so these, everything counts here. Keeping the pressure on, but trying to read Hiraoka as best she can. Hiraoka pressing forward, her chin just wide open there. Every time she comes into the pocket. One minute left in this extra round. And a high kick. Hiraoka. Trading back and forward. Three seconds to up. There's that spinning heel kick. I'm inside the final 30 seconds here. Now we've just got to let it all hang out. Must system get all the points at the final impression. That's right. Be aggressive. Try to land cleanly and don't back up. A lot of judges, they forget the first couple of minutes, the final 10 seconds, the final 30 seconds. That is what they'll decide the round, especially close to all. Nice punch right there. And then we see it. The pressure, the heart of Momoka shining through in those closing seconds. I have a feeling what I was, we were just talking about, that final 10 seconds, she landed a couple big shots, and those will create a big impression with the judges and could have won this fight for Momoka. You're right. That in itself could have done it. Overall, though, she was landing very cleanly. And throughout the whole bout itself, as Hiraka was coming in, she was getting caught. Let's go to the judge scorecards. Oh, Hiraka. Very close, that's one apiece here. It's going to be a split decision, Alex. Oh, Wow, Koto Hirauka ekes out the decision in the eyes of the judges. The end of that extra round, Momoka was sure she'd done enough to take that victory, and it looked like she might have. But well, everyone's got a different view. I thought Momoka had it myself, but it was close either way. Hiroka I thought fought very well, but unfortunately when she came in with a guard down on the middle and got popped, got nailed as she's coming.